I wish I'd have checked my pass sooner. <laughs> now then, reefers. Um, yeah, this is an eye-opener, a revelation, a confession, a confession. I should have checked my pass sooner. So in today's video, I have the Parwise from ITC and I've tested my par this morning. I am shocked and I'm disappointed in myself for not doing this sooner. The ITC Parwise made things so easy this morning in testing the par levels in my tank. I did all three sections, so divided the tank into three different tiers and um, tested the par in those areas. Obviously different ranges for different corals. I was shocked, actually. My spectrum was fine, but my par was not. This is really cool because it measures various things uh, to do with light, but today I was mostly focused on my par and my spectrum. So what is par? Par is the amount of photosynthetic active radiation for the corals to consume. But certain corals require certain amounts of that, and this is variable in the type of coral and species that you keep. Um, with your SPS demanding more, sort of anything between two to 400. LPS are usually happy at around anything between 50 and 150. And then anything from sort of 25 to 100 for all kind of bottom dwelling corals. Yeah, I'm gonna go through my par readings with you today. I will say though, however, that par means absolutely nothing if you don't know what your spectrum is. And this is why this is really cool. So a quick look at the box itself. Unfortunately, this is not a new product, so there's no breaking up the seal. I've hired this from Radical Aquatics. Um, it does show you on the box a little bit about what it can do. It can also do some measurements outside of the aquarium as well, which is great. Um, inside the box, you've got the manual, you have the par meter, and you also get a included USB-C adapter, which is great because you can just get this plugged in and get going. The unit itself feels really well made, um, a solid design and yeah, uh, so far so good really. The cable as well that comes with it is generous so you don't have to worry about getting caught short when it's plugged into your computer or your phone. And speaking of phones, it doesn't work with iPhones but that's fine because I don't have an iPhone and <laughs> I use this with a tablet. So the app is really easy, it's, it's not really an app, it's like a, a website app. You go to the website, click the links, do the approvals, set the meter up with the um, tablet or whatever device you're using and it will just literally bring you straight to the home page which in a second you will see so we're good to go you just want to make sure when you're at this stage that you press the little controller with the green button because this will take it from air mode into underwater mode which does actually make a difference and here we are let's now finally find out what my par readings are I'm really concerned about my par <laughs> so this one here as soon as I put the meter into the water, I'm getting the highest power reading I'm getting is 160. And that's that's the top of the top three of the sections of the tank. As I drop down to sort of the bottom of the, bottom of the top three, we're down already to 132. So there is no way I would keep SPS in there, which explains, yeah, it's not good that I'm really concerned. Then if we drop down further to the middle section, we've got a par reading of 90, 87, 92. I'd say it's an average of 90, um, which is roughly around where the uh, euphilia are doing pretty well, actually. And then at the bottom of the tank, we've got, we're about 35, 46, that's not good either, it's just quite low. So already I know that I need to do some work with my par. Uh, those readings are across the tank are the same. I'm interested in the middle, does, does the both lights meet? Now that's interesting. So where the gap is in these, the par reading is 30. So it's 30 here at the top point of the middle of the tank. And I was gonna get the SPS rock. <laughs> I need to definitely do some work with this. Good news is if you look at the actual spectrum, it's okay. The spectrum, I'm happy with the spectrum. It just goes to show you that my thoughts of how things looked are actually very different. So that has been really beneficial for me. So these lights on the big slice are programmed by myself. These lights on this are programmed with the automatic Reg C um, app. So let's have a quick look. Top of the tank already. Yeah, look at that, 400. 
400 in the top there, so that's the design for this tank with the floating reef was that the top was going to have mostly SPS. Now let's go down to the LPS area and we're hitting 100 and 169. This is, yeah, this is so much better. So we're at 169. I've got very defensive cloud fishing, <laughs> so better be quick. And we've got at the bottom, ah, it's coming. Um, we've got uh, 100 and right at the bottom, we've got 100 and about 100. It's going between 90 and 110. So that's really good. So, so the light power in here and the spectrum is way better than the one that I have in there. So really what I thought I could see was very much not what the coral needed. So really beneficial doing this today. Unfortunately, my lights will need to be upgraded. I've looked into them, how long I've had them, and unfortunately where I want to be, I'm probably gonna have to upgrade my lights. So I hope you found this video useful. Um, this product comes in at around 220 quid. Uh, really reasonably priced for what it does. Probably recommend if you were maybe not wanting to fork out that much just yet, you could probably put together with a few friends in the hobby and just have this to share between you. You will need it, especially when you're setting up a new aquarium, getting new lights, doing new aquascaping. For me now, <laughs> pa is essential part of the process. We spend so long making sure our perimeters are right, making sure our water quality is great, but we sometimes forget about the importance of light and spectrum. And this has been a massive eye opener and I hope it has been for you too. The guys at ITC are doing a range of really cool equipment um, and I'm excited to see what comes out next. I will link down below a link to the website so you can check their gear out yourself. Big shout out to Andy for, um, for loaning me this. Craig Timms, thank you. Uh, we've been chatting uh, a bit about this product and I know where I'm at now. I know what I need, new lights probably. <laughs> so Anyway, thank you for watching the video. We really appreciate the support. If you've enjoyed it, give us a like and a subscribe. We're new here, so it does mean a lot to us at this stage. Um, we will be back with some more videos focusing on the new tank, so hopefully you'll join us for them. But until next time, remember, there's plenty more seeing the fish.